high pressure scent. God bless you. You're welcome to the fourth month, the month of April. Genesis chapter 1 and speaking from verse 1. The Bible said, and God said, in the beginning, let there be light. This is the beginning of the month of April. I don't know what your expectation from God must have been. But one thing is certain is that there is a beginning to everything. This month's beginning is a beginning for you, a new season. It's a beginning for you, a new open door. It's a beginning for you, a new phase, a new chapter of your life. It's a beginning of your new encounters with God. It's a beginning where all things were passed away and all things are made new. All things are made fresh. All things are made to come alive because the word of the Lord will be breathed upon it. The word of the Lord will hit every aspect of your life and absolutely bring them back to life. I don't know what has been dead in your life. I don't know what has been stagnant. I don't know what has been dormant in your life. There is a beginning and surely this is the beginning of restoration for you. Stay tuned and watch as the word of the Lord comes to us on this platform, Reflector Hub TV, via the mouth of his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. God bless you so much. Stay tuned and get blessed. Great and ostracized. You still do impossible things. Now you're normal, baby. That's oh. Hey, you've never lost a battle. Ha! And you have never known defeat. Hey, and you handed us your victory. Over sea, over dead, now your way. Everybody say now your way. The sound of deliverance, Yahweh is here, and we cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. Shekai, hey, paleko barakai. We cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. Shekai is here. Everybody, we release, we release. The sound of the heaven, the sound of creation, Yahweh, we release the sound.
your hands and bless his name Shebranda Gaparatos Kadiada indeed he is here mighty God Shalakaparados Sedebredegedebelekatos can you bless him in the spirit he is here to heal to deliver to transform Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, 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 eh. Yahweh. I'd like you to cry from the depth of your heart father give me an encounter tonight give me an encounter tonight not tomorrow not next week tonight 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 Shebaka paradosh kalibrande varasko vadi balasiata. Someone full of faith is praying. Give me an encounter tonight. Give me an encounter tonight. Someone is praying. Who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, Amen. Who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Forever and ever, forever and ever, 
Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Lift your voice and prophesy to your destiny. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Your mighty in battle. Amen. You are that King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Father, tonight that you will do a quick walk in our midst. Let the sick be healed. Let no oppression survive tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you will open up destinies like pages of a book tonight. In the name of Jesus, you will open up destinies like the pages of a book tonight. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. And everything that does not name the name of Christ, it must give up over your life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please be seated. I want you to be very, very sensitive. God is already moving, God is already touching, God is already blessing, following from within this auditorium, all the overflows outside, and those who are connecting from around the world, may God bless you. This is our miracle service for the month of July. And we know that God will do us good in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your life will so change tonight. You will know that you encountered his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome everyone again in the name of Jesus Christ who is the head of the church. Um, let me just honor two or three great people in our midst who are worthy of honor. Hallelujah. The first is... A dear man of God, all the way from Port Harcourt, Bishop Victor Uzosuke. God bless you, sir. Please, let's give him a big, big God bless you. Thank you so very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And then, um, we have in our midst, Senator Keopas Moses from Bielsa Central. See here. God bless you. Thank you so very much. And then, a very special guest indeed in our midst, the Deputy CVN Governor, Mr. Edward Adamu and his dear wife and family. Let's honor them. May God bless you. Such an honor to have you around. Every other person is welcomed in the name of Jesus Christ. It is not only you I'm saying welcome to. I also say welcome to your breakthrough. Welcome to your favor in the name of Jesus. You are not the only one who came to church. God also came. Angels are here and they did not come empty handed. In the name of Jesus, everything that is not welcome tonight must live your life. Everything that is not welcome tonight must live your life. Please sit down. Let me teach you something for a few minutes before we begin to pray. You know, Please let me have your attention now. Most times when prophetic words come like this, most believers think it's just a religious, maybe a man of God is just speaking. And then sometimes because the evidences don't show immediately, we are tempted to think and even believe that nothing happened. 
The word of God is very powerful. Are we together? We must, we must be reminded once again of the supremacy of the word of God. The supremacy of the word of God. As we prepare to receive tonight, because this is a service that was designed by God to give us an opportunity to receive. When Jesus walked upon the earth, Matthew chapter 4, the Bible tells us that when he left John, after John baptized him, he was driven by the spirit to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And then the Bible lets us know from verse 2 that having prayed and fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Verse 3 says that Satan came to him, the tempter he called him, and the first temptation he said, if thou be the son of God, who is talking now? Satan. Command that these stones be made bread. Now watch the answer and the approach of Jesus in dealing with Satan. There's a lesson for us to learn here. And he answered and said, it is, it is, that means it is written, is greater than I saw. It is written, is greater than I heard. The realm of the prophetic, it is written, is greater than I saw. The realm of revelation. It is written is greater than I felt the realm of feelings and emotions. You would think Satan, I mean Jesus would have told Satan, are you crazy? You didn't see me praying and fasting? But he said it is written. This is very powerful. The supremacy of God's word. Above and beyond the realm of the prophetic. Above and beyond the realm of the apostolic above and beyond the realm of the miraculous above and beyond the realm of feelings in fact it is the word of god that gives these realms and dimensions their value if you extract the word of god from the prophetic the prophetic is just witchcraft if you extract the word of god from revelation revelation is just the empty boasting of men if you extract the word of God from the realm of feelings, it's just emotional vacillations that will not lead anywhere. What gives credence to all these realms and all these dimensions, the healing, the miraculous, the prophetic, is the word of God. You have to understand this. Someone say it is written. Now, we all desire to walk in victory perpetually. The Bible says, now thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. And in preparing for tonight's miracle service, I took out time to study carefully and once again, the ministry of Jesus. I really wanted to find out as though I had never studied it before. How did Jesus address Satan? How did Jesus address the issue of failure? Because he's our pattern man, theologically speaking. Is that true? If we are to command sustainable victory, then we have to study not just how Paul approached it. These are men, men. Not just how the patriarchs of old. I want to see that Jesus walked upon the earth. So it is worthy of note and study to see how he approached Satan. And I came up with two things by the Spirit that will be my charge tonight. There are two principal ways that Jesus defeated Satan. Number one, after the temptation or during the temptation, in Matthew chapter 4, you read from verse 1 to 11. We may not have all the time, but please write for reference. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1 to 11. This captures his entire uh, discourse with Satan and his victory over Satan. Notice that the first way Jesus overcame satan was by saying it is written are we together his confession of the word of god was the basis for his victory and then the bible says when we read verse 10 please give us verse 10 and 11 10 and 11 the last temptation then said jesus unto him get thee ten satan for it is written one last time Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him shall thou serve. 
verse 11 the bible says then the devil leaveth him why did the devil leave him not because he wanted to leave he left him because the basis of his communication with satan was saying it is written but the strange thing is one of the synoptic accounts tells us that he left him for a season that means it is written has power but it is written will alone will provide temporal solution the most permanent way jesus addressed satan was not just saying it is written but doing it is written it was in his doing what was written that satan was permanently defeated galatians chapter 3 please and verse 13 when jesus went to the cross and hung on the cross he established by his death his burial and his resurrection the ultimate defeat of satan and his cohorts and he did not just die because he wanted to die on the cross he died doing what was written that this was the only way he could become a curse for us the bible says christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law being made that means becoming not just saying i am a curse mm -mm. being made a curse for us for it is written that means he died and did what he did according to that which was written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree 14 he says that the blessing of abraham please get my teaching in zaria the seed of abraham I did a teaching on this that the blessing of abraham is justification by faith might come on the gentiles through jesus christ that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so satan comes to jesus at the first instance and jesus said it is written it is written it is written that provided a measure of victory but he still came back again this time around jesus did not just say it is written he did it is written and it brought permanent victory are we together so there are two realms of establishing victory as we see in and through the life of jesus number one is your confession of faith which is according to that which is written not just according to that which you feel not just according to that which you think we have established the fact that it is written is greater than feelings it is written is greater than um i saw visionary experiences greater than the prophetic i heard in order of priority and supremacy the word of god excels above all these realms but there are many of us our victory is limited because the only thing we do is to say it is written and the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that saying it is written that means dwelling only in the realm of your confession of faith will produce for you a measure of victory three times jesus said it is written and satan left him but he left only to return but when jesus did it is written the victory was permanent and established it is written in the name of jesus i am light i am salt it is written in the name of jesus i am the head and not the tail in the name of jesus i am not poor in the name of jesus i am great that is wonderful that is you have already begun your journey to victory but that remaining in that realm alone will eventually frustrate you imagine if jesus just stood and said in the name of jesus or in the name of the father i have died for sinners all sinners you are coming to the saving knowledge of christ that would be wonderful but to end there till today we would not be saved that means it takes more than just saying what is written are we together we must move past that realm to aligning our lives and then doing what is written that is what establishes our victory perpetually most believers know how to speak well and even psychologists will tell you that when you speak well you are giving your mind your subconscious the tools that will create the physical expressions of your reality so in any case whether you are born again or not speaking positively and speaking um releasing that positive energy has an advantage to your life but victory in the kingdom is more than that 
it starts with your speaking but it must end with obedience your doing please give us hebrews chapter 4 paul was giving us perspective as to the power of the word of god he says let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest uh-huh any of you should seem to come short of it verse 2 it says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them the word that was preached was not wrong the word that was preached was not important and yet it did not profit them why not being mixed with faith in them that heard it not being mixed with faith in them that heard it that means they heard the word that was full of life and full of power and yet because they did not mix it with faith and you know what faith is by now that faith is beyond professing the word of god faith has to do with your obedience in one word faith is obedience are we together many believers are unable to establish sustainable victory in their lives not because the word of god is a lie and not because jesus christ has lost his power and victory over satan and circumstances but we are unwilling to finish this faith equation and so give him room to manifest his power in his fullness because for many believers we have not even gotten to the first realm of believing him enough to speak and declare the bible says the righteousness of faith speaks the righteousness that is of faith speaks but it does not just stop with confession there are many many people who make empty confessions in the name of jesus i will not fail and yet they do not find out the kingdom principles that are allotted for victory experientially and so we continue to declare in the name of jesus i am walking in favor in the name of jesus i am walking in abundance and that can get us a measure of victory and results but then we refuse to find out the principles that we need to work with in keeping with the word of god as far as those areas of needs are concerned and then we find out that our confessions almost become a mockery of our christian experience because we are unable to establish victory hallelujah so it starts with your faith and your faith the from the abundance of your heart the bible says the mouth speaks so don't get me wrong confession is a very important part because confession tells us what you believe in fact give us first john chapter 5 please from verse 4 and 5 it says for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world hallelujah for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith i'm interested in verse 5 verse 5 says who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god that means not everybody is an overcomer the overcomer is the one who believes not just anything and everything you must believe that jesus is the son of god hallelujah but then in believing that he is the son of god you must also move past that realm and then obtain grace from god to walk in keeping and to do that which commits his integrity to your life this is the area where many believers are missing it do you know as i prayed preparing for this miracle service the spirit of god began to burden my heart again and again as to the fact that it is important for believers to understand the potency of the word but more than the potency of the word the dynamics of the operation of the word believers need to be taught afresh how the word works the administration of the life and the power that comes through the word because now we're living in times you know what is happening across the globe and even in our dear nation 
challenges all everywhere and for many people their christian experience is beginning to be frustrating because they are now experiencing uh, things like lack and want and need to the point where their basic needs cannot be met again do you know i've observed that in africa and especially in nigeria we have a very we have a very we are we are very elastic we have a strong ability to endure so it will be difficult for people to give up on god just for maybe because they don't have a job or their health they can manage and still believe but when it gets to a point where you lack food to eat when your basic needs are affected at that point satan would have made a statement that if care is not taken can affect your christian experience i was listening very carefully to the testimony that i think um a sister or brother gave how that they were mocking her and saying this church girl this is not about church thing it is about a spiritual thing but not a church version you understand what they're saying there are many people who are already receiving invitations to return home and you know what that means to return home means to return to something that seem to have produced a level and a kind of result let me tell you the truth heaven and earth will pass away but believe me when i tell you the word of the lord abides forever do you believe that who is he that overcometh but he that believes in the son of god when you look at the global you know news around the globe economically politically when you look at nigeria we've been challenged especially in recent times even within our city here the fct unfortunately and so it the, the faith of many believers are being dampened people are discouraged people are asking god are you there are you alive do you not know that the value of light is when there is darkness are we together now david would have no ministry if they were not goliath so all of these goliaths moving around are giving the saints an opportunity to demonstrate once and again the all-surpassing power and intelligence that resides within this kingdom i want you to find a way of believing this ecclesiastes i believe it was verse 1 chapter 1 and verse 9 it says the thing that is is the thing which the thing that has been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun that means as far as the sequence of seasons and living is concerned there is nothing that is new if it is wars it has happened if it's terrorism it has happened before are we together if it's hatred and wickedness it has happened before if it's victory and triumph it has happened before as an individual as an institution as a nation nations have been freed from tyranny through history nations have been under the bondage of tyranny through history and all sorts of things he's saying that there is absolutely nothing new under the sun that means when we are challenged with things that seem to be new in our life he comforts us that they are not new before god that this earth is old enough and it has captured within its space all kinds of things the good the bad and the ugly but that above them all there were people who conquered those systems this is a word of hope for us hallelujah heaven and earth will pass away but that the word of the lord abides forever but it does not mean that it will automatically work for you this is what i want you to listen and understand most of us believe i am a christian i am coming to church that is wonderful and yet the word of god does not seem to produce in our lives why is that so because number one we have lost touch with our belief and our confession of faith jesus our pattern man is teaching us that over satan over negative situations and circumstances your first port of call is to believe in the victory of jesus and to confess and profess it with understanding 
that in the name of Jesus when men say there is a casting down for me I declare that there will be a lifting up never outgrow confessing the word in truth do not see it and say this is something for children except you don't believe the Bible Satan comes to Jesus and he says it is written it is written it is written it is written with long life will i satisfy you and show you my salvation it is written you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you it is written you will call on one person and a nation will respond to you it is written you have to listen it is risky to build your life today in today's world on any other thing aside from that which is written you are sitting on a time bomb i'm building my destiny on my uncle's uh, promise to me that is dangerous your uncle is a man i'm building my destiny on my many certificates congratulations but believe me when i tell you vanity upon vanity anything that is not the word of god does not sustain by itself the power to stand the test of time are we together there are many who are building their faith and their conviction today on men of god as wonderful as that sounds that is dangerous and that is a risk there are many who are building their faith and their conviction on the monies that they have in their bank account it's one thing for your account to be fine and it's another thing for the bank holding your account to be fine hallelujah if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were an investor whether you were a businessman whether you were an excellent farmer whether you were a professor whether you were naive that flood was going to carry every one of you the only person who would survive was the one who got into that ark hallelujah and every once and again events happen in the earth where there are no alternatives except the word of god that ark of safety you see is the word of god it says to build the ark of gopher wood and let it have three stories anybody who was too proud or not discerning to enter that ark died with the flood the heavens gave its rain the earth gave its rain whoever was in between had to go plants animals everything do you know i know that historically there are still arguments today whether the flood of noah really happened the bible tells us that it happened and so we believe we've not experienced catastrophe on earth like that if nigeria has a problem for instance you can run to another nation where there is land and then you can run somewhere and find safety but what if the whole earth the whole earth has water what skyscraper will lift you above it when the heavens sending its rain the earth sending its rain and the on earth can you imagine no nation was saved only one ark who we see that overcometh but he that believes that that name of the lord is a strong tower that you can run into it like noah ran with his sons to the ark and that they are saved don't blame noah it was not his fault he was obedient enough to not just say what was written but to do he built it for about a hundred years and history tells us they laughed at him they mocked him to scorn and then when the time had come god himself closed the door and rain came and everyone died i've told you that it was not the ark alone that protected them if the whole earth is submerged with water cold will kill you even if you are in the ark i hope you know that so entering the ark was what, not what protected them the weather condition under that kind of condition i mean come on you have basic knowledge of geography the whole earth being cold it will kill you you will freeze right there and yet they were preserved by the hand of the mighty one I don't know about you but as for me I have made up my mind that for as long as I live this becomes the basis for my living I have explored a lot of other options 
and I've seen how weak they are in the face of real life situations the Bible says the Word of God has been tried seven times and it has survived please listen to me ladies and gentlemen thank God for medical doctors but we're living in times where even they themselves are confessing that they will keep doing their best but they are limited thank God for architects engineers professors and all of that you're in Nigeria here our universities sadly have been closed for months I don't know about you but let me encourage you by the spirit of grace that we are living in times that are not only perilous times we're living in times where every believer needs to return back to the integrity of God's Word it is written is the ancient pathway that many followed and navigated their way through the tides of life and destiny you would think they will fail with it and yet at the end of it that ark will be standing and the Bible says the ark rested on Mount Ararat hallelujah there are people here tonight sick in their bodies and most of them do not believe that God is able to heal most of them do not believe God is able to deliver listen to me ladies and gentlemen let me encourage you by the spirit of grace I want you to believe that miracles still happen find a way of convincing yourself it is true find a way of believing that breakthroughs still happen find a way of believing that the Word of God still works in spite of all the negative things that seem to mar our society I'm speaking words of faith to your spirit as you are seated listening to me inside outside across the globe I want you to believe that God is dependable I want you to believe that the name of Jesus is truly a strong tower that the righteous can come to it and they can find safety safety against all kinds of things hallelujah this is the basis for the miracle service it will be evil and unfair to gather thousands of people here and across the globe and just listening to a man communicate the philosophies of men or give you ideas that have not been tried our confidence is not in ourselves our confidence is the fact that we only stand behind the integrity of this that is written and we stake our lives I can tell you the truth the Word of God will work for you it will not just work because you say it it will work because you make a determination to obtain grace from God to work in keeping with the principles that commit that word to your life if the Bible says when men say there is a casting down for you they will say there is a lifting up now you confess it let the redeemed of the Lord say so are we together but then you find out what else should be done what is the participatory role that you have to play in making that scripture right and true if the Bible says call on to me and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things if you want to see great and mighty things you don't sit down and expect God to just reveal you call on to him because that is the condition and to call on to him does not mean to be calling while you are distracted you must give him dedicated attention Lord I am calling on to you you have given me an assurance by your word that if I call on to you you will answer you will show me great and mighty things now I dedicate my time in fasting in prayer let me hear you speak to me and he will come hallelujah the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that means if you are withholding and you are greedy it will be unwise for you to be surprised that you are poor are we together because the Bible already told you that if you withhold and you are not one who is a giver you will be poor and then if all you are doing is giving alone giving money or resources you will be surprised that you'll be having momentary testimonies but it will not last because giving is not the only key are we together see yet thou a man diligent in his business the bible says he will not stand before mean men he will stand before kings you have been taught so if you give a loan and tithe a loan they all have their allocations but if you are not valuable you will stand before mean men 
is someone learning now as a man of god the bible says study to show yourself approved unto god a workman that does not need to be ashamed if there is shame all around your life and ministry don't just say it's an attack go and find out have you risen to that point of spiritual competence where it will be just for god to send the nations to hear you more than saying it is written your heart must be inclined to doing it is written why do we pray for the sick because the word of god declares that we can lay hands on the sick and they will be healed and that the healing ministry listen very carefully the healing ministry is part of god's is is part and parcel of the gospel what salvation does to the spirit of a man that's what healing does to his body every human being is given one body per lifetime medical science has not yet perfected the art of transferring a spirit into another body so whatever plagues your physical body is a dimension of the administration of death to your life sickness is death asking for your attention are we together now yes why do we set people free from all kinds of oppressions because the bible tells us that satan is behind many and most of the evil that we see in our lives and our destinies that we know that every time a man's destiny continues to capture negative occurrences it is more than a sociological event it's more than an economic issue it is largely and almost always a spiritual issue and that behind it are spirits so he gave us authority over devils snakes scorpions and so when we declare in the name of jesus all of the manifestations and the things that you see those are just physical expressions but the real thing happening in the realm of the spirit is that we are placing a demand because god said to do it now we do it with faith hallelujah and every devil of hell gives way and people begin to return with testimonies now look what god has done in my life like it will happen to you this night in the name of jesus christ Amen. apostle i'm tired of my condition open the bible and find out who was tired of his condition and what he did about it an example of someone who was tired of his condition was the man jabez the bible says the mother bore him in sorrow and she named him jabez he would have sat down there saying one day go better and he would have gotten old and died and it would have been that God cannot save men. But Jabez said, like someone must say tonight, Oh, that thou would bless me. In other words, Lord, I'm tired. It's not my fault to give birth to me in sorrow and cost me as a result. I don't blame my mother. I will not hate her. But destiny, you must change. And he cried unto God. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. And the Bible says God heard him. God still hears, oh. God still hears hallelujah how about people who were poor and were tired of poverty go and read your bible to the extent that one of the wives of the you know the sons of the prophet that had died they were going to carry her children and she ran to the prophet that means when you are in debt the first place you should run to is not the bank read your bible it's not just the bank the first place you should run to is any vessel that represents the prophetic the voice of god it was when she met the prophet and the prophet said what do you have in your house she said nothing except a little cruise of oil the blessing really did not just come from the man are we together now the blessing was already in her house but she needed the prophetic to activate it the oil would not multiply but it had potential to multiply the same way the loan you collected in the bank can help you but without prophetic blessing the devil will still use it and multiply your debt what you first need is a prophetic word so that whatever you now do is empowered by prophecy hey 
Amen. Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. My body, it looks like there is there is no my body is responding somehow. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out there were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? The things that are written are for time. They are for our learning so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture may find hope. That means the first part of call. Every time you see anything in your life that is not favorable, go straight to it is written. Not I saw, not I thought. I saw can deceive you. You may have a vision that will keep confusing you for years. Leave that vision and go to it is written. You have not yet verified your vision, but it is written as been verified. Many people's destinies have gone haywire because of I saw. Many people's destinies have gone haywire because of I heard. Nobody's destiny goes wrong when it is written. Listen very carefully. Some of you, as you are listening, you will find out that healings and miracles are already happening. Listen. I walk in the prophetic by the grace of God. God has granted me revelation. But can I tell you, I have learned by experience and by the word. It is a risk to leave your destiny at the mercy of I saw. It is a risk to leave your destiny at the mercy of I. Do you know how many people saw me already dead? Many years before now. Genuine prophets. They saw, but it is written, vetoed it. If you live by I saw, you live by I heard, you live by I felt, you will be a victim of situations and circumstances. I've had many revelations that relate to this ministry and this work, but the greatest basis for what we are doing, ladies and gentlemen, is not what I saw, not even my encounter with Jesus. That which is written is greater than my visions. So that even when I later discover my visions were wrong, I still find consolation because they were not the basis for my action. I only trust my vision if it is consistent with what is written. Are you learning now? Yeah. Why did you come here tonight? To change what you saw to look like what is written. Why did you come here tonight? To change what you heard. Or what you are hearing to what is written apostle i have seen that there is a growth in my stomach it is our assignment to midwife that process that converts every negative thing you have seen you have heard you have felt to what is written if that happens our assignment is done oh apostle i see that economically things are going down financially they are going down i agree based on what we saw but the believer is not just one who walks with what he sees or what he hears do you not believe the bible again let god be true and all men the bible says god who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us in time past through the prophets have in these last days spoken to us through his son the word whom he had appointed to be heir over all things Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you, I believe in you, Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. There used to be an old song we used to sing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Very powerful song. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Please hear me. 
if you ever see any sick person stand here healed it is not just because joshua selman is powerful it's because by the privilege of god's grace and partnership with the word and the spirit he has taught us the art of converting the things that are seen and the things that are heard and the things that are felt to become the thing that is written this is the mastery of a minister you are as powerful to the degree to which you can change in the lives of people the things they are seeing the things they are hearing the things they are feeling to become what is written when you pay that price with the spirit he can now trust you with the destinies of nations because indeed you will be a blessing my god is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you yes someone's word don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able oh. Oh, 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 he's able. Oh, 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 he's able. Luke chapter 1 from verse 34. Shaliba Kaproske Nimahashiata. The angel speaks to Mary now. Luke 1 34. Please help us. And he said to Mary, how shall these things be seeing i know not a man how shall my healing happen now seeing that it has defied medical con medical explanation verse 35 it says the angel answered and said unto her the holy ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the son of god verse 45 it says and blessed is she that believed not just she that heard for there shall be a performance for who the person who believes is more than just hearing is more than just agreeing the performance is not just for the believer in terms of i heard i agree but one who believes and takes the action if we say in the name of jesus lay your hands where you are feeling all the trouble and the pain and you don't number one even if you agree and believe in jesus and believe in me chances are excellent you might not be healed if we say check yourself and the moment you find out the power of god has touched you come and you feel you are healed and yet you keep quiet remember the woman with the issue of blood she felt within herself that the fountain of blood had dried up and she didn't keep quiet jesus said who touched me and the woman came saying it is written will bring you a measure of results victory but doing and more importantly living by it is written is the secret for perpetual victory regardless the government in power regardless the economic tide regardless the time and the dispensation because the bible says that should be colossians am i right one and verse 16 please give it to us let's see how exalted the word of god is it says for by him were all things created the him being the word that are in heaven that are in earth visible and invisible whether there be thrones or dominions principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him all things including your healing all things including open doors all things i believe with all my heart that i would never have a better yesterday it is not my agreement with god not from my personal work with god not from scripture where then would that come from i believe what i believe is that which is written that the path of the just now the question is whether i am the just or not if i am not the just then he was not talking to me but if i am the just the bible says 
that my path will be as a shining light that shines more and more as childlike as this truth is you wave it away and see how your life will oscillate and vacillate from light to darkness and darkness back to light hallelujah deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 this is the secret to the lifting this is the secret to being exalted above the nations of the earth that it shall come to pass if thou will hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and do all his commandments which i commanded this day that the lord thy god will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth verse 2 it says and these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god so i believe it i can't expect the blessings to come if i do not hearken hallelujah there are many of us who are expecting things in our lives that our obedience have not purchased for us i expect healing based on what i expect influence based on what genesis chapter 17 let's look at six and seven for some of you here who the devil is lying to you that you will never rise you will never be great the nations will not hear your voice the devil is a liar he says and i will make thee exceeding fruitful is that in your bible and i will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee verse 7 he says and i will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations what is the covenant to be a god unto thee and to thy seed after thee in politics there's what we call godfather that means the person who backs you the person whose voice can help and lead you when you knock on a door politically they ask you by whose on whose stance are you coming here god is saying i will be a god to thee that means any door you knock and the door tries to speak keep quiet the one sent who sent you your obedience just gives him the room to answer you knock on the door of favor and favor says i have never opened for anyone in this lineage and the one who sent you says now you have to open because the king of glory is the one who defends him we make our boast in the lord is a risk to make our boast based on intellectual knowledge alone or based on human connections as important as they are they are only powered because above and beyond them we stand on this truth that that which is written is greater than i saw i heard i felt do not forget this message so when you see all kinds of things killings and whatever it is it is true that your eyes is seeing all this but for you you maintain your confession of faith in the name of jesus we declare that abuja is safe in the name of jesus we declare that there's victory in nigeria in the name of jesus we declare that light the light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not you see that is your own contribution to the victory folding your arms and waiting for instance for the nigerian army to suddenly announce to you that total victory has come is irresponsibility every believer in christ has a potent role a spiritual role that has a, a physical expression in keeping our borders safe he said pray for the peace of jerusalem then he says they shall prosper who love you are we learning but as for tonight i welcome you to this adventure that turns what you have seen that is not consistent with what is written what you have heard that is not consistent with what is written in fact some of you are holding what was written but my question is written by who because there are many people who are writing with all due respect doctors write failure to write it has a viral it can write the devil is the one who writes the most writing and his and his his canvas is the life and the destiny of people but there is one who can write it does not matter what was written before him when he writes that is the end of it so the sickness that you are feeling you can choose to believe the feeling more than that which is written and it will remain so the negative events around your life and family you can choose to believe what you are seeing above and beyond that which is written and sadly it will remain so 
but the miracle service tonight your own responsibility is to say father i know what i have seen i know what i have heard i know what i'm feeling but i came to church tonight as a sign that i believe that you have the power to turn what i have seen to turn what i'm seeing in my family what i have heard to become what is written is someone a believer so like the precious lady who gave her testimony having breathing problems palpitations in her heart that is what she's feeling and let me tell you the truth that thing you see there is real because she's feeling it however there is a technology in the spirit where what is written can superimpose what you are feeling ah, this is what it means by casting down every imagination from the greek word yetzar and bringing every knowledge every thought to the obedience of christ hallelujah we are going to do a very quick walk tonight very very quick walk tonight as soon as we arise to pray may i please request that the ushers and all who support them to begin to collect the prayer request by the way i hope you believe in what god is doing with the prayer request here if you're here and you're you're new i want you to believe this is not some superstitious things we have to explain these things because you know somehow believers can abuse a lot of things your prayer request written by you is the most accurate communication of your desire and your expectation the bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray it says believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it jesus was speaking and he said hitherto you have not asked for anything it says ask that you might receive that your joy might be full ask and you will receive to the end that your joy may be full the god we serve answers prayers it's true so as you write make sure you are not just writing it as a ritual i want you to write it this health situation this financial situation this issue of my stubborn son i have no covenant with god that my womb will give birth to an armed robber he may be stealing around but write it in the name of jesus so 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 and so is turning from an armed robber to a saint are we together you are a man you are a father and you are unable to take care of your family you write it down because the bible says any man who cannot cater for his family has denied the faith and is even worse than an infidel lord i am not an infidel i am the righteousness of god in christ that means the wisdom and the empowerment to take care of my family i came here to receive tonight most people don't know what to write i can tell you with all due respect when we check many people's prayer requests is largely nonsense that is written there petty childish things that does not even deserve any spiritual attention write serious things that connect to destiny are we together now yes please write when we bring it to the altar here we agree by faith and whilst declarations come you believe by faith now, no matter how much i may want to prophesy to everyone we are limited first in knowledge and then the limitation of time and so not everybody may have the privilege of any personal prophecy sometimes maybe nobody the most important thing is for you to know listen carefully that in an atmosphere where there is faith in an atmosphere that allows the move of the spirit anything is possible when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands impossible becomes possible when you hold my hand everything becomes possible when you hold my hand may i request if you are going through any financial challenge in your life please write it i know there there are financial situations that require wisdom value dedication relationships 
all of that i understand but there is an advantage that we have in this kingdom there is the prophetic dimension to the activation of god's power and blessings even as regards finance and we are living in times right now where we need that dimension of god's grace at work i vowed a vow to god that i will never lead a people who are just spiritually vibrant and yet not doing well economically do you know why because a lot in our life and our civilization depends on economic empowerment there's no point hiding it there's there's nothing to shy away about imagine that as i'm standing right here uh, i'm suffering financially and things are not going well and i start passing a basket to you and say drop something while i'm preaching don't even ask me anything just drop it first you see that will be a compromise on integrity and is based on hunger we have shared here according to genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 that the only reason why israel goes to egypt is hunger when jacob saw that there was corn in egypt he told his sons why do you look upon one another verse 2 he says behold i have heard that there is corn in egypt the problem is not corn the problem is the location get you down tether he says and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die when the devil wants to destroy your spiritual life one of the ways that he destroys your spiritual life <clears throat> is to attack your finances and then to make sure that the only place you find corn is in a place where jesus christ is not glorified you can fight and say i'm not going there but when hunger gets to you by yourself you will go down to egypt someone shout god forbid i truly believe in the empowerment of the saints even the economic empowerment of the saints possible when many people are blessed they leave the lord that means those guys are going to run away from heaven because heaven is a place that is an epitome of the blessings of god it is not the abundance of resources or the absence of resources that cause people to leave god it is the state of their heart are we together now a person who becomes wicked when he's blessed was wicked before he was blessed the wickedness did not just have the empowerment to find expression a person who is a giver when he's blessed was already a giver before he was blessed the the empowerment financially only gave room for what was in his heart to find expression do not reject the blessing of the lord that is the reason why there's so much decadence in our world today there are many people going back to things that they were already free from because of hunger there are parents today whose children come with money they know they are not working they know they are not in any business and yet they bring money to the millions and the parents know that most likely where that money came from was a wrong source but they do not have the courage to challenge the children because they need the money sadly there are even those who have encouraged their children subliminally to go and delve into all kinds of relationships and all kinds of things because of hunger hallelujah so god is going to do a quick work in our lives tonight we're going to trust god to bring healing healing i truly believe that sickness is of the devil do not forbear with sickness do not give excuses around it believe in the name of the lord and stand strong and let him touch you and as soon as I begin to pray for people, the power of God will come upon you and listen very carefully. I want you to believe that you are healed and you check yourself. The moment you find out that you are healed, I'm going to be giving a few people an opportunity to come out here and to stand and we'll take a few testimonies. We're working with time very closely tonight. And then if you need to see our medical people, they're outside of this auditorium for any medical verifications, please go ahead. We don't announce fake miracles here. We don't have time for any nonsense. We only announce things that have worked. Hallelujah. We fear God and we're serious people and we are also responsible people. Praise the name of the Lord. No playing games, no, no wasting God's people's time. It is, it is an insult as far as I am concerned. It is an insult to God, to you, and even to me to fake miracles. It truly is an insult. Why fake what can be real? Hallelujah. To just do the altar call right now.
before I begin to minister to the sick you are here and you need Jesus on hearing this word listen to me ladies and gentlemen I worshiped him sang so powerfully here that Jesus is the answer you may be tempted to say to what question the question of death the question of defeat the question of a life that is full of ups and downs a question the question of eternal damnation if you ever ask any of these questions the answer is not a thing the answer is not an object the answer is not philosophy the answer is a person the very son of the living God there are people seated here within this auditorium all of the overflows down to the basement and then outside and many who are following online and they are saying apostle while I heard you pray I heard you teach the Holy Spirit began to speak to me that I need to number one make this decision for Jesus sincerely or I need to number two rededicate my life that as things are right now I cannot say for sure that I am a Christian apostle i think i'm a christian but i'm not sure you are not you can come and make it right and you can know for certain that you have met jesus without wasting time i believe and i presume that the holy spirit must have spoken to you i'm going to make the altar call what is an altar call is a call to repentance is a call to surrender is a call to brokenness is a call is a handover service you are telling jesus i am not ashamed of you before men i desire you and i need you like the flowers need the sun and the rain so i will count one to five wherever you are within this auditorium around the balcony may i request that you please rush and stand here in front so that i'll lead you to jesus and then if you're in any of the overflows and you're not able to make it here please move to the front of your auditorium same with those outside those following from your homes and so on and so forth i want you to be ready and be willing to make this prayer can we celebrate them as they come one we are here for you come and do what you do we are here come and do the things that you do set our heart Come. let's celebrate them as they come come to Jesus it is the one major encounter you need tonight apostle but I've come out for altar call so many times are you changed if you are not come out come and join them you can come out and encounter the God of the Bible it's not coming out that changes you It's the genuineness of the brokenness and the repentance that changes you even if you come out for an altar call a million times and you do not mean it and you don't pray the prayer of salvation based on the integrity of scripture you are not saved we're still giving you one minute please come very quickly God bless you koinonia is this how you celebrate salvation come leave your friend leave your family members come to Jesus apostle I'm an elderly person can I join them absolutely I'm a little child can I join them you're most welcome those who are coming from the the overflows or the balconies please let them come let's celebrate them as they come your life must change 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 you will never be the same Thank you for making this bold decision for those of you who are in front of me and then those who are by their LED screens and those who are following by way of television or the internet listen let me tell you this making a decision for Jesus is not about religion making a decision for Jesus is beyond Christianity making a decision for Jesus 
is the connection to the king of kings the lord of lords this is more than becoming a christian this is becoming a child of god the bible says behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us in that we are being called the sons of god he says now are we the sons of god and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like hallelujah i salute every one of you may i please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender jesus is right here and please say this after me let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i exalt your name and your life above my feelings above my past above my present above my future i declare tonight that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of hell and of the grave is broken in my life from tonight and forever i declare that i belong to jesus i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen please keep your hands lifted father thank you because you have drawn these ones to yourself only you is able to draw men great men like this to yourself and you have brought them by the authority of scripture i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life and i declare that you are hereby declared recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you'll be grounded and established in righteousness and everything that is not of god i command it to give way in your life in the name of jesus you do go from glory to glory and grace to grace for in jesus name i pray amen and amen now very quickly we're about to pray and begin the ministry of the spirit so i would request uh, the counselors please be fast with them so that they return but i want you to just look to my right which will be your left you would see a few counselors waving their hands and waving the placard please just move to my right which is your left they'll have a word with you and you'll be back to your seat very quickly let's honor them as they go thank you thank you let's celebrate them they are going healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down i'm not afraid i'm not afraid healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down not afraid please rise up on your feet Listen, I have told you why the ministry of healing is very powerful. The healing ministry is an end time ministry. There is such a ministry as the healing ministry. Hallelujah. That gives an opportunity to dispense the healing power of Jesus. When the, the ministry of healing is administered by the mercy of God what we call the mercy of god the mercy of god is responsible for the administration of the healing power of jesus hallelujah the blood that came out from jesus all through his body dripping to the ground those stripes were for our healing the healing of your body and right now you're in this place 
and all across i want you to believe this is a miracle service that all of these demonic things that have plagued you will leave you now now may i please request very quickly that you lay your hands make contact with any part of your body where you are trusting god for a miracle please do that very quickly lay your hands remember what i told you it is written is the key to walking in perpetual victory when jesus said it is written satan gave way when jesus did it is written he not only gave way but victory was established now thanks be to god the bible declares who causes us always to triumph if it's a part of your body you cannot touch for whatever reason just make contact with your chest and i want to pray for you i really believe in the power of god i've seen the god of wonders work miracles for me keep your hands there those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically the mantles of elijah paul and timothy i want to see that power at work inside of me i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this there's gotta be more gotta be more there's gotta be more than this for desperate people do desperate things we press in here it's gotta be more gotta be more it's gotta be more than this shalasco brandi gabarasiata those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out when I begin to minister for those who would come out I will ask you but please lay your hands I want to pray right now my God there's such all I'm just seeing is I'm just seeing smoke just inside and outside that smoke of his presence consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this room consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome healing fills my life your mighty power fills this place in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names i command that spirit to live now in Jesus name right now I decree and declare inside outside be healed now be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus organ failures be restored in the name of jesus the power of god is touching so many people in the name of jesus there's someone suffering from muzzle pool muzzle pool like like what footballers or athletes have in the name of jesus the power of god is healing you now someone your right ears you don't hear with it it is opening right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there's someone you are following from national hospital national hospital i'm seeing you on the bed 
in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as i'm praying right now you are feeling a, a a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the holy spirit as i pray right now it dissolves and goes down now yes. hiv be healed now yes. i say it again hiv be healed now yes. every kind of cancer be healed now yes. terminal illnesses be healed now yes. those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid i declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of jesus christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of god is coming upon you and in the name of jesus perfect vision for you in the name of jesus christ there's someone you're having like um i'm hearing gastritis in the name of jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a a severe problem once you stand in the sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the holy spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now pile be healed now i i don't know my god there's someone i'm i'm seeing is like of course i'm not a doctor but i'm it's like i'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil not a boil but a growth a projection inside your head literally in the name of jesus i don't know whether that has been verified medically or not but be healed right now there's someone you have a condition i don't know what that condition is but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can injure yourself i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed The issue of blood is being healed right now very severe issue of blood is being healed right now there is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of god is touching you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you're unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of jesus christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of jesus the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand i'm i'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of god is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of jesus 
a very supernatural miracle has happened you came here and your one of your molars i don't know i think it was removed but a miracle is going to happen you are going to see a brand new teeth right there this is what the lord is telling me in the name of jesus i declared by the spirit of grace by the power that raised christ from the dead someone has um like a growth a projection just this part of your neck this side in the name of jesus as i'm praying for you right now the power of god is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now now whether i mention your case or not diabetes diabetes is being healed right now sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you i don't know if you can walk or not but the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus the son of the living god whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name 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 there is someone i'm seeing you are not in this country uh, it's not given to me to know what nation but i know you are outside this country you are holding your child your child is five years getting to six and has never spoken and the lord is telling me to pray for that child in the name of jesus i don't know what that nation is but i declare may the tongue of that child be loose now may the tongue of that child be loose now The Lord is showing me a woman. This is an elderly woman, should not be less than 55 years old. This is a woman in the hospital, in coma completely. In fact, it's almost as if she's gone. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life. And we declare that woman returns right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone for a long time, please don't be embarrassed you've suffered what we call mouth odor very pungent smell it's not an issue of lack of hygiene you have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you and that that healing is happening right now in fact i'm seeing at least three or four people with this case i just mentioned no matter how you try to maintain your hygiene it looks like that embarrassment continues it's a demonic thing in the name of jesus be delivered the lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare you are free from that demonic thing hallelujah now here's what we'll do i want to minister deliverance right now but for all those who are trusting god for healing i want you to check yourself right now the moment you check yourself and you find out that the power of god has touched you you could not do something i want you to do it right now inside and outside you could not work begin to walk you could not see begin to see the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please be guided by the protocol or ushers and you make your way to come right here to the front either to my left or to my right and then we'll have we'll give you room for your testimony very quickly while that is happening I'd like you to please submit your prayer request. You would see ushers by your left and right. You may do well to pass your prayer request to the last person, either by your left or right, so that they would pass it. Ushers, please make that snappy so that we can have the people submit their request. And if you have passed any row and they are yet to submit, please just lift it up and then an usher will be there to attend to you. I want to minister deliverance now. I believe in deliverance. I really do upon Mount Zion the Bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession it is no news that Satan is determined to thwart our destiny and he has an arsenal of demon spirits that continue to go around the lives and the destinies of God's people spying upon their liberty but the Bible says, how terrible are thou in your ways, Psalm 66 and verse 3. 
it says through the greatness of thy power thy enemies shall submit themselves to you and so i want to pray right now and rebuke every spirit that is back of the tragic events across and around our lives are you ready now when i pray then uh, together with those who will be coming out all those who are healed and are coming for testimonies will now allow them to come let me pray ah you know sometimes the way the holy spirit works is very strange i've not even started praying and i started hearing shouts and people running in the spirit this is what i started hearing bring them out that's not the only one you hear many like the healing power of jesus just delivering people that's what i started hearing in my spirit and the lord just asked me to allow that happen before i start speaking the supernatural works in a very strange way sometimes it, 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 these things how and why they happen i really do not know ours is just to flow with the holy spirit and do that which pleases him right so there will be many people right now who will start shouting under the anointing i want you to bring them out and then i will now start praying the power of god is already touching people thank you lord jesus whether inside outside all of those people by the spirit of grace let's have them out very quickly if the ushers are limited please pr or any other department do help them so that we will we'll make this fast and we make this snappy in the name of jesus christ bring them out you are the covenant keeping god you are the covenant keeping god Yahweh, 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 hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit tormenting spirits this is what god wants to take spirits that torment people whether in dreams or visions whether as afflictions or infirmities i want to declare right now please i want you to bring them out in the name that is above all names i decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now from the influence of tormenting spirits be free now the power of god is still coming upon people right now the power of god help them please the power of god is still coming upon people be delivered now in the name of jesus christ satan get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound 
by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released please bring them out i decree and declare i prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit help them please every devil of stagnation every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare i'm moving forward go ahead open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i am making advancement in life and destiny every devil in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead i'm still praying you hear about good things but your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession i want to pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of this that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of god is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a paris qatar for those patterns i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there is a lady you are from Edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family i will not let you go free right now help her the power of god is coming upon you from Edo state i'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people at those states be delivered now bring them out be delivered now be delivered now alegateshka de brande ga parusiata embratoshka ligri sebe da katushiata la parando siha the lord is ministering to me there's someone here every time your time of promotion comes you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show i decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family I release that family right now. 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 Please, whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing, please help to bring them. You don't have to wait for the ushers. There might be too much for them to do. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. The season where demonic holds over your life is breaking i'm hearing the name jennifer in the name of jesus i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now jennifer i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold right now i break that demonic hold what's her name hold on please don't take it easy my dear where are you coming from Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I cast that spirit now. Be delivered completely in the name of Jesus. 
for every other person in the name of jesus this lady holding her stomach something is leaving your stomach i cast that spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ release her destiny now in the name of jesus christ my goodness god is setting people free i'm seeing god take things out of people's stomachs like i don't know like growth or whatever i declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth right now fire from heaven is coming upon you that devil dissolves now that devil dissolves now I'm hearing a name Israel Israel and the Lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for God to use you to visit your family this is what God is telling me who is Israel what do you do my friend yes, sir. Huh? I'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if I tell you God is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every israel here what he says to one he says to all by the power that raised christ from the dead i release that grace upon all of you take that grace right now in the name of jesus the lord will use you to set your family free in the name of jesus christ hear me there is someone i want to pray for you don't have to come out but the power of God is visiting people. Do you know that death is a spirit? D-E-B-T. Not death. Death. Borrowing. There, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs. It's not that you are bad. This thing is a pattern. You have seen it. God wants to break it in families. I don't know where that family is. But right now. The spirit that has tied people financially walking and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of god is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily i don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of jesus christ god is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out a store from nowhere it's a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of god is coming upon them the lord is saying it has come to an end i don't know what it is but that's what i hear it has come to an end it has come to an end i decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of god is touching you it has come to an end in the name of jesus Please don't just pick them and take them back. Ushers, you should know better. Please, let me do my prayer for them. There's a reason why I ask them to come. Please return that lady who is going back, please. It's not about bringing them out to show a man of God is powerful. No. Please, don't just pick them when they think. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. They don't have to come out. But when God instructs, then it's important. Otherwise, you will just take them back to their various bondages. For all those who are out here in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now, for all of you, I declare at the count of three, let them go, release their destinies. One, two, three, go, go, go. Out of them now. Out of them now. Out of their lives now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has been stolen, let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of jesus restoration
supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus the Lord is still showing me a family your father is a pastor but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family a sincere man of God who loves God but poverty failure shame this is what has characterized his family I don't know who that person is you are a lady in the name of Jesus is there someone like that please make sure you verify let's not just have people coming out carelessly your father is a pastor I want to pray the devil is a liar just put them they can stand one place anywhere there i want to pray for them you see look at this you can imagine this kind of demonic mockery a man who is who is spending his life serving the lord and then the devil will want that nothing works in his life you see so it can discourage members it can discourage people they can say if you are a man of god why are these things not working for you but in the name of jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight i'm praying for you there are so many of you so i will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire i decree and declare those altars are set ablaze i release your parents i release your loved ones i release your parents i release your families help them please every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now i not only pray for them i pray for you in the name of jesus every altar that sponsors hatred that sponsors trouble that sponsors limitation by the power that raised christ from the dead it is destroyed now You don't have to come out but i want to pray for you there is someone here your father has a case with efcc and if we don't pray for you with what i'm seeing they are going to jail him i don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of jesus i don't i'm not a, 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 a government worker i don't know how it works there but for god to have revealed it we declare mercy right now agree with me we declare mercy right now in the name of jesus who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer i decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them, overturn them. help them please i overturn them in the name of jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours whether in the office whether in politics i say it again i overturn tonight i overturn tonight i overturn tonight in the name of jesus christ I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names 
but in the name of jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the lord show mercy Amen. in the name of jesus because with what the lord is showing me right now i'm seeing a lot of financial distress it's still undertone they are just trying to work to see how they can manage it but in the name of jesus i am praying for the sake of the mercy of god and for the sake of those who fear god in that bank both workers and customers may god preserve it in jesus name <laughs> jessica jessica who is jessica jessica this is what i'm hearing who is jessica where are you coming from Edo State. come and stand here please where are you coming from i want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not nothing i want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband he's outside he lost his job yes when yes. 2017. and from that time he's not gotten a job again when he got he has been managing it he's nothing to write home about from the when he is he here yes because of there's no space he's of course i understand outside. it doesn't matter he doesn't have to come husband wherever you are you are seeing your wife on camera just stand by faith if we say he should come now we may waste time do you believe god can visit him yes madam what do you do i'm a businesswoman i want to pray for you i believe in miracles so i truly believe hallelujah jessica your name is not jessica oh. wife. Huh? your brother's wife you're standing in okay please don't come out to stand in for anybody if it's not you just be patient by faith believe wherever you are don't worry i'll pray for you since you're here madam in the name of jesus please why are they here are you jessica your name the name your parents gave you okay so you can stand here so that we'll save time because we in the name of jesus i decree and declare every planting of darkness i use these ones in front as a point of contact ah, i'm praying for these people but i'm seeing a lady here there is a a ring that is demonic this is not physical on your hand but this is demonic this thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors the power of god is coming upon you right now help them help them this is what i'm seeing i just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i don't, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh? just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here if there is any strange marriage aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now. Strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep, molesting you and spying upon your liberty. Right now I stretch my hands. Anyone here who is a victim of those things, be delivered now. And for all of the Jessicas who God called out here, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, 
by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family i hereby release you now i hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life i release you now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of august the way god will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it i declare it in the name of jesus christ god bless you god bless you thank you there there is um i don't know if i should ask them to come out now but i am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of jesus i don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is the grace there and i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god father upon all these ones i declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what god will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here yeah, there are many things that i see that i just pray on sometimes god allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is that is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not it, we don't see any expression of that in the bible are we together the destruction of satan nobody can fast and pray for satan to be saved no the judgment of satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the saints to stop hallelujah since god has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the fct do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the fct we are praying for nigeria all the six geopolitical zones we are praying extending our prayers to africa but particularly for nigeria go ahead and pray we pray for abuja the fct then we pray for the north we pray for the south we pray for the east and we pray for the west in the name of jesus the son of the living god we agree as a spiritual family oh god arise and let everything that is antichrist be scattered over our nation we decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military the police dss civil defense we declare let there be angelic activities let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints somebody is praying call the name of any area in abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it we declare safety safety all the six local governments that make up this state we declare safety extend that word of safety to the neighboring environment nasarawa state niger state kaduna state plateau state benway state kogi state we decree and declare safety by the power of the holy spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping maiming killing 
destructions of lives and properties they come on that judgment in the name of Jesus Christ they come on that judgment somebody is praying the facilities within the FCT we declare safety public private facilities in the name of Jesus for in Jesus name we pray please listen to me I don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed but let me just give you a word of hope and comfort please hear me do not fear prophesy to yourself say myself in the name of Jesus I reject fear one more time say it say I reject fear hold on let me tell you by the privilege of where I come from and where we started ministry I've had the I don't know what to call it now I have I have been part of many crises and I've seen many uprisings there is one thing I can tell you fear has never helped in any situation I know that because of what is happening across the FCT there is fear I know that there is a call for greater vigilance there is a call for greater sensitivity both spiritually and security wise but can I tell you I challenge every father and every priest here you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith we're not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil rather we would pray that God himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of this vested interest and evil people wherever they are may god judge them both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steals they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil the entire central system the network of evil may fire from heaven fall upon them but as for you in the name of jesus i place a mark upon you by reason of being grafted to christ and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of jesus you will not die Amen. the lord god himself will prohibit you Amen. from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. now i want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the request come wherever you are begin to pray in the spirit begin to pray in the spirit please you are enforcing everything that has been spoken outside are you praying all of the overflows begin to pray begin to pray in the spirit if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly go ahead and pray Though I walk through the valley, I'll fear no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you. One more time. Though I walk through the valleys, I'll fear no evil. By the water, still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust, trust in you. Alleluia.
hallelujah please prophetically may i request that you stretch your hands towards me and begin to pray and declare over this request as i bow my knees before the father of glory agreeing for answers to these prayers answers to this request i'd like you to declare that these egyptians i see today i will see them no more forever someone pray this is the most accurate representation of your desires the bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every request here is turned to a harvest of testimonies every long-standing issue represented here may this be the season for speedy answers every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here in the name of jesus we command that that spirit loses his hold now and every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life we compel the ministry of those men in the name of jesus christ I prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of Jesus he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev I decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around in the matchless name of Jesus now i made a commitment a personal commitment to see that we end tonight by nine because of the situation and so because of that we may have to suspend every other thing i'll just speak over your life for the next one or two minutes it's already two past nine my apologies for all those who would have wanted to come for testimonies what i will request that you do is next week um you can just write your testimonies and we'll take it let me speak over your life finally and then we're done hallelujah in the name of jesus christ this is the last day of this month tomorrow becomes august i decree and declare august is the ninth month everything you have been carrying this is the month to give birth to it shame and reproach over your life comes to an end now if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life are not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of jesus christ be restored be restored be restored be restored by the power of the holy spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised christ from the dead i stand as a prophetic midwife and i push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected 
no evil will see you in the name of jesus christ for those who are trusting god for manifestations of financial favor i release my faith and i agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that this week god will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you god will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of jesus christ now but the day god decides to locate you you will be surprised is god speaking to us that's why we're here tonight you can be a man of god and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body probably god has been telling you look your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy but you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years i will come for koinonia you will now say next week you will say kai uh, ah i'm feeling cold let me just relax as soon as you want to travel your sister will just say ah, i just came on break let me tell you all those acting is a lie but there's something about the will of man the day you stamp your feet and say today i name today as my day of breakthrough the bible said today if you hear his voice every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again it has to be today are we together so tonight i don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters i tell you by the grace of god there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can god do this you can't leave lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that God brought you to waste your time? No, sir. No, sir. I tell you, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, oh, can, can the hepatitis go? Can this go? We're talking God here. We're not talking the, the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital. The God of heaven. Can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children those nine people the money from those nine people will empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of the october we'll let we'll let the devil know what is in nigeria he has tasted what is in america what is in russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play now you try oh yeah do it now you are, don't no, no don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming into this equation 
my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see i can cut what is there and pass you can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go he's going to hold you and say come back apostle has gone so the, the job has not been done my assignment by the grace of god is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way one, that's number one that's not all then my assignment is to turn you to the direction that's where prophecy is powerful and then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you're on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there's 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed i would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it will be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk ah, i will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you are a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous now eyes nice. 
for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time whether you are outside overflow one overflow two overflow three online whatever nation you are following just listen I believe him I may not claim I know everything about him but this God when God decides to stand up from his throne he said now arise from your throne God can stand up have you heard that the earth is his footstool so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the Bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move didn't man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying i, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from God thank God for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint Lord I left Lagos this morning and I came here 
I left Bielsa and I came here. My car almost had an accident. Lord, I would have been in a convention now as a man of God. I left it to be here. I'm looking for something. Let something come from heaven. And your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven. And all of a sudden, boom, I tell you, in one minute, I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bunker Crusade, there were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore, whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba, I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the Lord has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages.
creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus you are able great and mighty God you are able Jesus, you are able, great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus. I will continue to read it for you. Isaiah chapter 61, please give it to us. The messianic prophecy, Jesus' own manifesto, he's saying this is what I came to do. Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we are reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives start looking for your own as I'm reading and the opening of the prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn three to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations I like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just passed like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and 
like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come be open for when god will visit and locate you that, that's that's what you're here for so i want to pray that prayer now jesus i'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran i i am I'm, I'm saying this before i pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what god is saying is i'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now Shabalakata. jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you 
there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much you can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service Shekete Karakatosh Embrakata Katoka Telakata. Lift your hands, please. I'm praying. For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 I decree it I declare it I decree it and I declare it no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now, the Lord is shifting you. That lady, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Spirit take away delay from your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus. now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three 
everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata abika, eketo sata rikata, embreketo sheketa, akato shekiyaka, manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power. By fire, by fire, by fire, it leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen, I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass there right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be 
broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names. At the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus! Bring them out! That devil must let you go today! My God! Look at what God is doing in Overflow 3! Shabrakato shekete skaba Embrekato koto shabaria Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata preketish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you. I speak as one sent at the count of three let them go one two 
two, three, go, 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 let them go, lose your hold over their lives, let them go now, let them go now, let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet, but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos Kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos Kateketa. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. I decree and declare that healing anointing. One. Two. Three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm I'm seeing someone. Don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father, I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands 
why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that anointing come upon you. hallelujah overflow three i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release you. My dear, hold my hands to you. I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Emeka, who is Emeka? Emeka, I'm hearing a name Emeka, overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray, what do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place, you came for NYSE. I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me 
the Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you, open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire, overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now. I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you. Come quickly. Please. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory. What do you do, my friend? You are a student. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, sir. Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. Husband and wife? Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So, your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, 
um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, no, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends. They make you compromise your values. It's not your fault. But when they come, they are vocal about what they believe. And because you do not have a community of like-minded believers. But let me tell you the truth. It matters who you listen to. If the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel, God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back. See, wickedness is real. Oh. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, wickedness is real. Huh? This is a young, beautiful lady. You see her standing, but you now look at it. Do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married I would now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh, you do you know what it means to be a witch? So uh, God is you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help, but it doesn't mean imagine that I look at this lady now and say, My dear, you're a witch. No. This is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here. You find out, for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, as you mean... I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you're in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady Huh? we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you are a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands I decree and declare ah. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of Jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. 
I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is in the name of Jesus? The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke. Complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we're going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but... Ah, you please come Hi. this is your first time coming I need to pray for you what do you do ma uh, you are jobless ma huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you. I give you three weeks, 21 days. Ma, your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you. I lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit every planting that is not of god i uproot it now i uproot it now i uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. And Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives... Even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone now. Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower.
that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can leave out now everything that is not of god a father is a priest or not an uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes You are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this is because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. Kai, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business, between now and 30th of November, sir, your finances will change, you and your wife, in ways that will surprise you. You will come back and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man waving your hands, come together with that woman by your side. Who is she? Come, please, two of you, quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. Oh, oh, oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here uh, by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes, sir. How long has it been? 
Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Barisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month. And then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine. Sir, I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus be healed from it now I command that devil that virus go now in the name of Jesus you go and write your test bring back your results it's gone listen I, can we the time is gone oh dear you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing God wants to heal maybe I will just pray I will just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, 
I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as i pray for you now i pray for you the power of god is going to come upon you i'm going to ask you to check yourself praise the lord we may not take all the testimonies but since we have chosen this method now as soon as i pray i ask you to check yourself you will be surprised what has happened to you and whether you are in overflow one two or three I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request, please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name 
there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes, and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. She's now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes ulcer you mentioned ulcer, ulcer. how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no biologically biologically where no, are you from i'm from each but i got i mean i'm brown state there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh look at me where are your parents who are you staying with my mom and my stepdad at kaduna okay 
It's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' All, name. Sir, Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but you. as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the, the lower back pain. And it affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes. It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Two thousand and seven. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow too overflow two the overflow by the roadside so you bring the person in the name of jesus perfection for you right now in jesus name she's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct but today they asked you to ride a horse yes who said you should ride a horse the doctor or just advisors <laughs> don't, don't, she's shy <laughs> the horse this is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing. Eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spoke unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But Don't the pain believe is gone. that thing, oh. In the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest, 
heaviness in the chest okay and then she had severe headache and as she prayed for her it totally and, left and what hiccup the heaviness used to make her hiccup she was even hiccuping during the service but as you prayed she's totally healed god bless you look at me where did you come from kaduna kaduna state you are going back eh? where's your mother she's in bauchi when are you going to see her i'm serving in kaduna so it has to be december december if i if i give you an instruction for your mother will you obey it huh look for one thousand naira recharge card eh? yes, send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life Amen. you just do what i ask you to do it's not some superstition please you get my point it's just the law of honor that will trigger something i release my faith with you your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing but you watch what that play will do in your life in she had ulcer peptic ulcer as she prayed for her she was totally peptic healed. ulcer how long Put your hand on your chest in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare peptic ulcer goes back to hell in the mighty name of jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Would feel press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slumped like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire? The devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge. Then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In Jesus' name, I set you free. You are free now. You are free forever. In Jesus' name. Back pain disappeared. He's had back pain for a long time. Back pain, sir? Now. Yes. In Jesus' name, let it go and go forever. Never to return again. In sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that God is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person, doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. It took the bones to come back for an army to rise. Therefore, I'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now it's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sounds all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. The longest... How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, as she came for the testimony, the menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell. Amen. 
and never come to you again in the name of Jesus Christ she had weak your father's salvation ah we are experts in praying for salvation here you need to find out how God saves people here where it's not that God saves them it's how he saves them that is a sign and a wonder I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell and there was one malam he came for koinonia he was seated outside and while i was praying he, he was studying his, 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 his islamic study or hierarchy or what he was studying something like that and then all of a sudden he just i mean koinonia just disappeared and he saw a vision of heaven outside overflow one and the lord jesus was talking to him that's how the guy got born again remember years ago the gentleman that came here that gentleman that belonged to a cult group yes. you you know the the guy that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place as soon as i climbed here all that the guy saw was i hope he's still in christ but as far as <laughs> yes the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power and so when he was here and saw power he said ah, there's power here whether it's demonic power or god's power there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ God bless witness you. was ill when we take the last person that would be also that we can yes, in please. overflow three witness overflow three. for the pain so as you went outside and you ministered ah, she fell under god the power visited of god. overflow three today oh this miracle service was for overflow three as she fell under the bar she stood up perfectly whole. completely it's gone in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes, her body is even hot. You can see that her body is ill, cough, she, but everything is good. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed, but yesterday the symptoms came back but right now he has been permanently what, what was the issue sir back pain back pain come you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is, is that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost forever healed forever perfected and the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in jesus now, name. now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ecg scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it her sister has it and then she's also seeing the symptoms but tonight when the case was mentioned she was completely healed you see this these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person grandfather died of it you said father has it father has it mother sister has, sister has it, it. Yes. aunties huh? yes everybody has it most of my aunties my my younger sister my dad just all of us like where are you from delta state in the name of jesus a beautiful lady the devil should not rubbish your destiny i cancel this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands is in the name of Jesus, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Yes. She Jesus. had this pain in her chest and her stomach. 
she suspected it our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard how wonderful okay she was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis but as you mentioned the heaviness and the pain Put everything your hand just your left in her stomach in the name of jesus christ i command that that devil goes back to hell in the name of jesus give jesus praise now everyone please stand everyone please stand oh they're still he's had a very mysterious headache heaviness that just disappeared now as he mentioned the case in the name of jesus come my friend it never returns to you again every other person that has been touched by the power of god we declare perfection for your body now <laughs> hallelujah please i want you to stretch i want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request stretch your hands and i want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost father in the name of jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus this is a representation of the faith of your people you are the god that answers prayers i ask oh god that you arise arise in power arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seeing You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed 
somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of jesus now i pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you i pray for you i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire break through fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting god to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every helper that must show up between now and october miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by god i pray for you and i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus we release their miracle children now i'm praying for anyone here trusting god for a job you are trusting god for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting god for a job in the name of jesus i agree with you that between now and october miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor the favor that can turn your life overnight around i decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around <laughs> hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of jesus 
from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison I pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of Jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands and I agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah lord in this month of october i'm now I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you had the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i cause the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of Beloved, jesus christ i don't want you to give up stay tuned and get connected keep listening keep being blessed by the mouth of the lord through his servant apostle joshua selma on this platform reflector hub tv don't forget the scripture speaking and the bible says god makes all things beautiful in his time this season you must know it is your time is your time to shine is your time to reign is your time to experience the freshness and the newness of the wine jesus serves is your time to encounter the lord afresh it's your time for salvation it's your time for deliverance the lord makes all things not some things beautiful in this time it is truly your time to experience and to come in contact with that healing power of the lord that you have so desired beautiful in this time it's your time to embrace a new walk with the lord it's your time to refreshing that relationship that has been looking like one-sided has been struggling it's your time to come alive in that business that all hope seems to have been lost don't forget the scripture said though a tree being cut down at the scent of water it will spring back to life it's your time because when the lord breaths reaches everything you cast your hand upon to do it will truly come alive it will spring back no matter how long that situation must, must have been decaying, no matter how long that situation or that obstacle might have been there, no matter how long that condition or that circumstances has faced you or has posed thrown a challenge to your life, it's with great assurance that we bring to you the inevitable counsel of the Lord, the wonder-working counsel of the Lord, that this is the time that God makes all things beautiful in your life no matter what you're passing through don't give up yet i hope you know the scripture in the book of job the bible said the question was asked to Job, i doubt the first man was that found before the hills you are not the first but i can assure you that this will be an end to that challenge this will be an end to that situation this will be an end to that long years of weeping of sorrow this will be an end to that long terminal disease that has so afflicted your life the infirmities the infirmities that darkness has thrown upon your health and is choking your body is making you uncomfortable bringing so much inconvenience to your life this is the sad time because the hand of the lord coming upon it will make all things new and i tell you the previous story men have written about your life will definitely be raised because god is set to do new things but adventure you are a new viewer I'd like you to subscribe to Reflector Hub TV YouTube channel. Ensure to stay tuned. Share this video to your friends, family, neighbors, loved ones, so as to also get them blessed and release this message of hope to them. Don't forget to hit the notification bell by the side of the subscribe button. And see you always in our next video. We love you so much and God bless you.